All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So this one's going to be quick because I really don't have that much to say. So a few hours ago, we got the official announcement um, because there was rumors, um, I think, a few months ago, and Google had denied it. But Google is shutting down Stadia, their cloud gaming service. Um, so according to this article I'm reading from The Verge, Google is shutting down Stadia, its cloud gaming service. Uh, the service will remain live for players until January 18th, 2023. Google will be refunding all Stadia hardware purchased through the Google Store, as well as games and add-on content purchased from the Stadia Store. Google expects, expects those uh, refunds to be completed uh, by mid-January. Wow. Now, Google got a lot of money, but I know they can't be happy to re to be refunding all these games that people purchase, all the add-on content, and um, all the freaking hardware uh, that they sold. But I'm not in the least bit shocked by this because it's cloud gaming. And I know you got the cloud ga uh, gaming brigade that believes that cloud gaming is the future. You know, you just, you haven't seen it yet, you know? It, you know, it's an it's inevitable and it's going to become, uh, you know, the go to way for game. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, really, I'm, I've been so sick of hearing people talk about cloud gaming. This cloud gaming is so ass. Streaming games is so ass, bro. It's trash. No, nobody who takes their gaming experience seriously is going to primarily or even secondarily game through cloud streaming bro it the experience sucks it sucks it stinks okay i don't care if you have a little bit of latency um a little bit of buffering uh you know the the audio quality or the video quality takes a dip if any of that happens even a little bit it sucks okay it will not it it won't be better than you know playing a, a game locally, playing a game directly. Because any like I said, anybody who takes games seriously is just not gonna tolerate those handicaps that come and those cons that come with cloud streaming. That's why I got upset. Well, not actually upset, but that's why I called out Phil Spencer when he was uh um capping and champion championing this uh that that uh Logitech. A cloud streaming device. Talk about, oh, it's such a great experience. I was streaming on Wi-Fi and on the plane and at the hotel and bullshit, Phil. It's trash. It's garbage. All this cloud streaming shit is ass. Now, listen, I, when they say, that's, I, like I said, the people who say it's the future is, they're full of shit, but I'm not saying they're going to be wrong forever. I think cloud streaming could be the future, right? But it's the future when all of us are going to be old and withered or not even here no more. That's honestly when I believe that cloud streaming will be good enough. The technology and, 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 the, and the, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi connection and the streaming speeds and everything like that are going to be good enough to validate cloud, cloud gaming when we're not here no more. There are all these people oh, in five years, in 10 years, in fit. How about 30? That's what I believe. 30. It, it, because you can't tell me that cloud gaming is in the immediate future when there, Google made a cloud streaming device in 2019 and, it, and they're shutting down in 2022. It clearly ain't the future right now. It's not the future in a few years. Like I said, 5, 10, 15. Nope. Nope. Because shit ain't gonna move that fast to benefit cloud gaming. It, it's it's just not. The joint's ass, bro. It's 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 ass butter. Nobody wants to do it. It's a bad idea. Straight up. There's a bunch of people who cap for it, especially you know, on the Xbox side of things, because you know Microsoft and Xbox are deeply invested in yeah, keep keep investing in that trash. Sure, why not? Have at it, bro. So you're blue in the face. It's not it's not gonna make it any better immediately. So that's all I gotta say. Like I said, in the long run, like when we're old and withered or not here no more, 
sure, I think cloud gaming could take off. But in the immediate time, no, no, absolutely not. We will always need some type of physical um, conduit to game. Always in our lifetime. That's my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.